What's up, Virgo? It's Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your love reading for the first half of February. This will be for Virgo, Sun, and Moon Rising, also Venus. This is a general love reading. It will not resonate with all of you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel, Virgo. You guys know I love and appreciate all of you guys. So let's hop into your reading. Let's start out with an um, affirmation. I am using the I Am Everything Affirmations deck. Love it. Beautiful messages. So let's start out with one of those. I am switching the reading up. I will be doing a You Versus Them love reading. And what else? I think that's it. Oh, yeah. The special for this month is How Does He or She Feel. It's $50. All the information is in the description box below. So let's hop into this reading and let's see what's coming in for you guys. If you would love to book a personal reading with me, Virgo, you guys can do so on my website, fireintuition.com. All right. So let's see what we got for you guys. Let's see what message we have with the affirmation affirmations deck. All right. We have I am ooh, yeah, I am worthy. Love it, Virgo. So it says, I am enough and I am worthy of receiving everything I desire. I do not need to prove myself to those who seek to dim diminish me. I am worthy. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I really love this for you guys because you guys are going through a lot in your love life right now. And I just want you guys to know that you guys are beautiful and you guys are definitely worthy of everything you guys want and desire. So I love the message for you, Virgo beautiful let's hop into this reading and let's see what we got for you guys in love let's see what's coming in from now to the 15th messages for the sign of virgo in love what is coming in for the sign of virgo in love from now to the 15th of february we have the queen of wands that came out so i'm loving this i'm really loving this energy so far because we have the i am worthy card and then we have the queen of wands that came out and then here you are the queen of pinnacles so, I'm loving this because the Queen of Wands is very confident, very ambitious. She knows what she wants. She's beautiful. She's passionate. You know, she's determined. So, definitely loving it, especially with this I Am Worthy card, even for the males watching this. So, King, Queen, you know, love it. Love the messages so far. So, love it. Yeah, let's hop into this reading, Virgo, and let's see what we got. All right? So we have the five of cups that came out in reverse. Um, maybe you guys are moving on or letting go of something. Maybe you guys are reconciling a relationship. Or maybe with that queen of wands and that worthy card, you guys are no longer feeling sad about something. Nine of wands, king of pentacles. You guys could have been dealing with another um, earth sign. Whoever you guys are dealing with, I feel like there's been a lot of miscommunication. Someone still wants to stay committed to the relationship. Um, so let's see what we got, Virgo. Let's see. So when it comes to you, Virgo, and what you're all about right now, we have a chariot. All right, so we got that chariot for what you guys are all about. Um, what's on your mind? We got the Empress. Loving it. Yay. The person you're dealing with and how you feel about them. We have the Eight of Wands. Okay, so this is like communication, wanting to open up communication or, well, let's see what we got, all right? Um, the person you're dealing with and what they're all about, Seven of Pentacles. What's on their mind? The Two of Wands. How they feel about you? The Ten of Wands. Virgo. Um, remember, energy can be vice versa. Oh, shoot. Um, their intentions. The three of swords. The challenge. The eight of swords. And for the outcome, we have the page of wands. All right. So let's look at the bottom of the deck. We do have the queen of cups. So love this. Someone's definitely in love with you, Virgo. Or this is you, like, in love with someone. Very emotional. But I feel like for some reason, I was just about to say that. Well, we have the seven of cups in reverse. So... It's like, well, the Seven of Cups is reversed. So I feel as if either um, 
Like, you guys know what you want. You know this is the person that you want to be with. You know this is the person that you love. With this Seven of Cups in reverse and this Queen of Cups. I also feel like for some of you guys, like, you really love someone, you care about them, but you don't know how they feel about you. So, with this Seven of Cups in reverse, I feel like it's, like, hard for you to keep your head clear. I feel like it's hard for you to keep your emotions in check because you don't know how this other person feels. But I feel as if this person feels the same about you. For some of you guys, because we have the Six of Pentacles, and this to me is like an equal give and take. You know, like, they want the same thing as you. So, I feel as if it's about you guys coming together. Um, I also feel as if it's your time to receive. This Queen of Cups, though, um, she looks like a little upset, you know, and she's frowning, whining a little bit, maybe. Um, the lid is on her cup. So, it's like she wants to open up or express her feelings or tell someone how she feels, but she can be holding back her emotions and feelings with this Queen of Cups here. So, that can be you or that can be the person you're dealing with. Someone's in love and I feel like they're kind of holding back. Alright, so, let's see what we got, Virgo. Let's go to your person first. So, what I'm seeing is, I mean, the energy is not really bad, to be honest. Um, the only thing I see that is weird is that... Whoever you guys are dealing with, what they're all about, Seven of Pentacles. So, you guys are dealing with someone that's about investing. Wanting to invest in a relationship with you. Maybe wanting long term. Or, I feel like maybe in the past, if they weren't decided on what they wanted, now they know that they want to invest in this long term. This person, you know, looks like they're tired. Their chin is on the shovel. The Ace of Pentacles is on the ground. With this Ace of Pentacles, so it's let me know like someone wants to offer or give to you. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles, so if you guys were having a hard time moving things forward with someone, it's like now Seven of Pentacles, that's what's on their mind. So working on a relationship or things being long term, wanting to see things change or improve in their relationship, or I feel like they're wanting to make change or improve in the relationship with the Seven of Pentacles, because this is what they're all about. And what's on their mind is the Two of Wands, finally making some type of decision, or a decision has been made. Or, like, if they were scared to take things to the next level, you know, they're not anymore. The Two of Wands, I feel like you guys need to talk and have some type of conversation. Um, we do have the Eight of Wands in your feelings, okay, how you feel about them. And I feel like you're waiting for someone to open up and express their feelings. Maybe they're feeling the same way because the outcome is a Page of Wands. So, I feel like someone's definitely been wanting to say something. You are them. Now, um, how they feel about you, though, we have the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands is letting me know someone is like trying really hard. You know, like they feel like they put a lot of work in. Or someone is feeling like they're putting a lot of work in to build this relationship to give it, you what it is you want or need from them. Um, I do feel like in the past this person probably could have been difficult, probably could have been hard to deal with. Or like in the past, like you were the one doing everything to make them happy or keep the relationship together. And I feel like now they're feeling that energy and how they feel about you, I feel like with this Ten of Wands, they feel like it's worth it. But, like, just putting a lot of work and energy and effort into trying to have the relationship. And with this Chariot and what you're all about, I feel like for some of you guys, it's kind of, like, too late now. Because the Chariot, I feel like you guys are moving forward because your energy has shifted. What's on your mind is the Empress. So, the Empress is letting me know, like, you want nothing but the best. Nothing less. Okay? So, the Empress, that could be you focused on, like being a mother or taking care of home, but you're feeling like happy and abundant with that empress. Some of you guys are pregnant because the chariot's there. So when I look at the chariot, um, I think about a baby carrot. It just looks like a little pacifier right there to me. So some of you guys are pregnant and that's what you're all about. That's what's on your mind. Or you guys have two kids and you're focused on work and your abundance, your happiness. Um, this is like growth, healing, all that good stuff. So self-love. Um, and then you have the eight of wands for how you feel about your person. So I feel like the passion is still there. You know, like you said, I feel like the passion is still there. Um, for some of you guys, I feel like you've been manifesting, um, communication to come in or, um, you've been waiting for communication or like news to come in. Like you've been waiting to hear from them. Like you want to hear from this person. I feel like both you guys want to actually speak to each other, but neither one of you guys are doing it. And if you guys are talking, it's like, I feel like it's not really getting getting anywhere because I just, I don't know, I just feel like there's some type of blockage or someone's just like, I don't know, like the cat's got someone's tongue, like someone just can't say how they feel. 
Okay, now their intentions is a three of swords. So that's another reason why I feel like that. Their intentions, three of swords, that's like someone that feels torn or heartbroken or there's separation between you guys or the three of swords can be like rejection, someone feeling rejected. So I feel like their intentions are to come out of this energy. You know, they really want to know how you feel. They really want to open up. They don't want to be in this three of swords energy. The challenge is the eight of swords. Someone's definitely in their head overthinking, thinking the worst. For some of you guys, either you or your person, someone's like very vulnerable right now and in negative thoughts. So it's really making things like 10 times worse. And then we have the page of wands for the outcome. Okay. So like I said, someone wants to open up communication. Someone wants to let someone know how they feel. Now the page of wands is more of like, if they were to open up communication with you, it's like they know what they want. Like, cause this, the page of wands is like someone that's putting things together, putting ideas together, putting things together and wanting to move forward. For some of you guys, it's like doing something different, something new, discovering something new. You know, um, I feel like you guys might get some messages coming in in the next week or so from your person, especially if you haven't heard from them in a while. And they might be um, like flirting with you a little bit, like, hey, beautiful, hey, sexy, or like, what's going on, what's up, like stuff like that. But a little bit of flirting, I feel like this person kind of wants to see where your mind is at or see where you're at or maybe like wanting to know where they stand at in this relationship, okay? So, I don't know, Virgo, like your energy feels kind of calm not so scattered like it has been lately but let's see um let's go into the three of swords first because this is their intentions um and i want to see what this is about this can be both you guys feeling like this or one of you guys i feel like it's both of you guys because and see that chariot is there and it's like i feel like also with the chariot that things weren't moving forward and like there like nothing was going anywhere like nothing was moving Nothing was happening. No one was trying. Or you felt like your person wasn't trying. Or maybe, maybe they felt like you weren't. But someone just felt stuck. And I feel like with that chariot, it's like... Or that was how you were feeling, Virgo. You were just like, you know what? Let me get my ass out of this energy. And that's why the Empress is what's on your mind. Moving forward. Doing something different. Okay? Focus on yourself. All about yourself. Remember, you guys have the I Am Worthy card. Alright? So let's look at this Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here for the intentions? Yep, see temperance. Some of you guys can be dealing with the Sagittarius. We have the lovers card in reverse, Gemini. So it's like you guys definitely could be separated. Or like I said, you guys weren't getting along. Something happened. Um, there was a breakup, you know, and I feel like someone definitely wants to reconcile this and come together with temperance and the three of swords. So some type of reconciliation. They want to be on the same page. The chariot is about emotions, feelings, being balanced head and heart. Temperance is kind of like the same energy. So it's like they want to get, they want to like bring things back together or bring things back to where they were with this temperance card and three of swords. Someone's tired of feeling like this. Someone's tired of feeling heartbroken and not knowing how the other person feels. So let me see why the chariot is here. Clarify the chariot for Virgo and what they're all about. Why is the chariot here for Virgo and what they're all about? The death card in reverse. Mmm. All right, so I feel like with the death card reverse, you guys can be dealing with a Scorpio, okay? Um, and that's weird because we have the Empress for um, what's on your mind. But then we have the death card. I mean, we have the chariot with the death card reverse for what you're all about. So I feel like you guys were unable to move on for a while. And you guys were just stuck in that energy as a chariot, just stuck, not moving forward. And, I mean, the death card reverse doesn't have to be so bad. I feel like you guys... You know, um, you guys got to a point where you like, you know, I need to let go of this pain. I need to move forward. So I feel like with the chariot, like you're moving forward, okay, but not ready to really move forward. I feel like you haven't got over this person, but it's like, you know, the best thing for you to do is what's on your mind. The Empress focus on yourself and your growth and what's making you happy and not staying stuck in this energy. For others of you, I feel like with that death card reverse. With the chariot, it's like an energy where you know that there's like baggage or problems in the relationship, but you still want to move it to the next phase, like, and work things out as you guys are moving forward. But you don't know if your person feels the same way. So let's just clarify this um, one more time. But I feel like, um, I feel like I'm picking up on a couple different energies for you, Virgo, but 
yeah, you guys both kind of want to like balance this out emotionally and kind of move forward and reconcile. Let me see. Yeah, see, we have the tower, more Scorpio energy. Yeah, see, and then we have the Knight of Wands, someone ready to return. So I just feel like with this energy and what I'm seeing, the chariot, the death card in reverse, and the tower, someone's holding on to the past and needs to just let it go. Someone's bottled up all their feelings, their emotions, good, bad, negative, whatever, stuff from like five years ago, two years ago, two days ago. And with the tower, they just need to release the shit and just let it go. And it's on your energy, Virgo. So maybe you're holding on to something they did it to you in the past. Maybe this can be them. You know, energies can be vice versa. But with the tower, it's like the only way you guys are going to move forward is if you guys go through this tower moment and let go of the old so that something new can come in, come between you guys. So that's something new can be built between you guys because it's like you guys are still trying to have a relationship built on something old. So it's like that relationship wasn't built on solid grounds or solid foundation. So there, like, it's like in order for you guys to move forward and get what you want, there needs to be some releasing. Someone needs to let go so that you guys can start over. You are them, okay? But I feel like it can be both you guys, all right? Um, for some of you guys with that tower there, that death card in reverse and the chariot, it's like you, like you guys might have a lot of feelings or love for Scorpio. And you can't seem to let them go or get them off your mind and you want to move forward, but you're stuck and you feel stuck as if you can't move forward with this person or there's a blockage or something that's blocking or stopping you from moving forward with this person. Okay. Um, so let's see what else we got, Virgo. Let's clarify um, the Seven of Pentacles because remember, that's their energy and what they're all about. So let's see why the Seven of Pentacles here. The Ace of Pentacles reverse. So yeah, remember I told you guys before that in the past I felt as if they weren't ready to invest or they didn't want to invest in something long term. But now they do. We have the Ace of Pentacles reverse. We have the Lover's Card reverse. So again, I feel like in the past that was something that they didn't want to do. Maybe they kind of felt pressured into it. Maybe you were wanting commitment right away or you wanted to know how they felt then. And it's like with this Ace of Pentacles reverse, I feel as if, you know, they don't want to lose this relationship. They know your worth, you know, and I feel like with the Ace of Pentacles coming up in reverse, they know you deserve better. So that's why they're making some type of decision. That Well, that's why they made a decision and want to invest in the relationship because the Two of Wands is what's on their mind. So let's see. Someone was really confused in the past. I feel like there could have been someone else as well. Um, let's see why the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I see the devil was in reverse. The king of pentacles is in reverse. So you guys could have been dealing with the Capricorn or another earth sign, any sign. But someone needed to detach or free themselves from a relationship or some type of marriage or commitment in order for you guys to move forward and have this relationship for some of you guys. In the lover's card, it could have been a third party. And I feel like this person, you just didn't want to move forward with them until that situation was done and over with. So some of you guys, you're waiting for someone to leave a situation or leave some type of relationship. Two of Wands, they've made that decision to leave or that's what they're working on right now. That's why the Ten of Wands is in their feelings for you. So let's see, why is the Two of Wands here for Virgo? Yeah, see the Two of Swords, see they were blocked emotionally. But it's like they made a decision, they were ignoring it. So now they made some decision. We have a Fool, clean slate, starting over, ready to take this leap, ready to settle down and commit. And it's like this two of swords, they're at peace now with whatever decision they've made. Whoever this is with that two of swords, two of wands. All right, so let's see. Why is the ten of wands here for their feelings towards you, Virgo? Let me see. The chariot, see? And let's slip. We have the eight of cups in reverse. They want to come back. They, they're they wanting to come back towards you. They want to return. So with the chariot and the ten of wands, it's like this person feels like you're worth it. And they've worked really hard or put a lot of work in to move this forward. And that's why the Ten of Wands is there in their feelings. And you have the chariot for what you're about, wanting to move forward. So it looks like whatever blockage was between you guys, it's being removed. For some of you guys that were in third parties, for others of you, it's like you guys both want to move forward, like I said, but no one's moving forward. So let's go down to this Eight of Swords because this is the obstacle or the challenge. Why is the Eight of Swords the challenge for Virgo? The Nine of Swords. Mmm. And then we have this Eight of Cups in reverse. Again, the person coming back. So it's like... 
you guys are like it's like whew, Virgo you guys are definitely in your head definitely in your head Virgo um clarify this eight of swords and nine of swords why is this give me one more card the four of cups and then we got the seven of pentacles in reverse so what this is telling me that this is a challenge because you feel like you waited too long now they're ready the seven of pentacles in reverse is you waiting and you gave up and so now you're not focused on this no more or for some of you guys now you don't want it no more and you're in negative thoughts because you waited too long and now you don't know what to think or how to feel. The four of cups are coming back towards you and they're expressing their feelings and opening up to you. But because you waited so long, it's like you're in an energy of like, do I even trust this? Do I even want this now? So let's look at the outcome, page of wands. Why is the page of wands the outcome for Virgo? Clarify the page of wands for the outcome for Virgo. The magician. Okay, some of you guys are dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. Or this is your energy. Okay. And we have the Eight of Swords. So it's pretty much telling you either. I feel like with this energy, it's like, like get out of your head. Stop thinking the worst. Because with the Magician looking at the Page of Wands, you literally have manifested what you want. And it's here now. It just didn't come at the time you wanted it to come. It didn't come when you wanted it, wanted it to come. But it's here now. And you can move forward in this relationship. You guys are both ready. But now that you guys are both ready, it's like with this Eight of Swords, someone's, like I said, in their head thinking the worst in some type of mental prison, you know, thinking the worst and needed to come out of these negative thoughts, all right? So, um, yeah, that looks really good. Let's look at this Empress really quick. I should have looked at her before I looked at the, um, the outcome, but let's see why the Empress is what's on your mind. Why is the Empress here for a Virgo and what's on their mind? Why is the Empress here? Five of Swords in first. Yeah, see? Some of you guys, the Five of Swords in reverse is like, okay, so the Five of Swords in reverse with this Empress is here telling me that for some of you guys, either it's time for you guys, if you want to move forward, forward in this relationship, like come out of negative thinking. Stop thinking so negative with the Five of Swords in reverse. Like, well, the past won't happen. For others of you with this Empress and the Five of Swords in reverse, you feel like they're going to make the same mistake with you. So if this was a third party relationship and they were in some type of commitment or relationship and now they're out of it and coming towards you it's like after doing some thinking you feel like okay well they're gonna do this to me and i'm gonna be in that same position or situation so you guys got a lot to think about virgo is all i gotta say but whatever you guys were manifesting with this eight of wands you have been manifesting this this was the person you love the person you want to be with and we have the magician with eight of wands for the outcome it's like you manifested this and it's here now and you don't want to you don't want it for some of you guys for others of you you do but i just feel like overall you guys have a lot to think about virgo so not such of a bad reading yeah see the ten of wands and the eight of wands see like you've been like like you you guys both were in the ten of wands energy see look both you guys were in the ten of wands energy both like feeling like damn i'm doing way too much i'm putting in too much and i feel like with the person you're dealing with maybe you didn't see the fact that they were putting in a lot of work or effort but, I mean, you guys both are in the Ten of Wands for your feelings towards each other. You have the Eight of Wands, they have the Chariot. The Eight of Wands is like communication, moving forward. The Chariot is about moving forward. Ten of Wands, like, you guys both felt the same way. And then, like I said, the Knight of Cups, someone's coming back towards you, reconciliation. This can be some apology, you know. Um, yeah, so, I mean, and the sun is right behind that. But, like I said, Virgo... You guys have a lot to think about, all right? So let's do your love oracles and then pull your love your inner goddess oracle. And that would be your reading. So this is your message. Okay, so you guys got two. Let's pull one for your person. All right. So let's see what we got for you. And then we have one for your person. So for you, we have deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So, you know, go with them, Virgo, really think about it. Follow your heart. What do you think you should do? What do you really want? And then the second message you guys have, it says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. And remember, with your affirmation, if I have to remind you guys, you guys are worthy. And what did it say? 
I am enough and I am worthy of receiving everything I desire. I do not need to prove myself to those who would seek to diminish me. I am worthy. So, you know, you can have whatever you want, Virgo. All right, that's why the Empress is what's on your mind. So let's look at your person's love message. And they have, look, look inside yourself. Wow, examine what is causing you to feel this way. So it's like, whoever you guys were dealing with really took some time to really think about things, the situation they put you in, where they're at, how they feel, everything. So they could have been in hermit mode for a while, or they were in the hangman energy, had some enlightenment, has some type of awakening, you know, but it says look inside yourself. So this person has went within and really thought about things. So like I said, you guys have a lot to think about, Virgo. All right, let's pull your love, your inner goddess oracle, and then that will be your reading. All right, message for the sign of Virgo. We have warrior goddess number 25 love it so let's read the message all right so we have warrior goddess this is not a time to play it safe nor is it time to allow another to take the lead in your life you need to believe in yourself and trust that the instincts guiding you are correct if you need to take action, do it. Speak up, say yes, say no. Trust your inner truth completely. Be bold. The universe will answer your boldest actions with affirmation. And what was your affirmation? You are worthy. I love you guys. And you'll move through the consequences of your actions with grace and courage. Ending up exactly where you are meant to be. All right? So this has been one hell of a cycle a lesson, a relationship, whatever you've been through in this situation, but you're coming out a champ. Um, I love it, Virgo. Really love the message for you guys. All right, so that is what I have for you guys. We're now into the 15th. If you guys want to book with me, my website, fireintuition.com. I love you, Virgo, and we will talk again soon. Bye.